In this video, I'm going to go over the strr car function in C, which finds the last occurrence of a character in a string. To use this function, I'm going to include the string.h library where it's defined. And this library comes with C, so you're always going to have access to it. And then I'll define my string here. I'll say car s is equal to, and I'll say some data in commas. Now it's pretty common to actually work with comma separated data like this in computing. And we could say that each comma here is defining some field of data in a record. And maybe we don't know how many commas there are, but we know that that last comma denotes the final field of information that is important to us. And we wanna find that last comma. So to find it, we're gonna call the function, we're gonna say str r c h r, and we'll pass it s, and then we'll pass it a comma. And so you give it the string that you wanna find the character in as the first argument, and the character itself as the second argument. And what this function actually returns is a pointer to this character right here. It's gonna return a pointer to this character in the string, the last match in the string, which effectively gives us a substring of this string here from that character onto the end of the string. So we'll say here, car star comma is equal to our function call there. And then we'll do a printf of comma afterwards. We'll say pr percent %s and we'll just print it out just to see what we get back here. So then we can compile this here and we'll run it and we get back comma and then commas at the end there. So that's what we get back is that last matching character and then the rest of the string onwards in terms of the pointer we get back. So we can effectively treat it as a substring of the original string. Now, if we can't find a matching character at all, like let's say we try to find the character at, like the at symbol in the string here, then we're gonna get null back. So let's actually just test that out just to be sure. We'll say here car star fail is equal to, and we'll say str r c h r s, and this time I'm gonna say at. So we're gonna try to find the at character in the string, and we're not gonna be able to find it. So we'll say here if fail is equal to null, printf could not find. So we'll say printf could not find at. And we'll just give this a test here. So we'll compile again, and then we'll run it again, and we get could not find at. And that's because str r car will return null if it can't find the character at all in the string. And that's the str r car function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.